Certainly former Raider Dave spoke with Hall of Famer Ronnie Lott, also in town, taking part in the charity fundraiser. Lott was also asked about the Raiders' move to Vegas, but his answer had nothing to do with gambling or distractions. Instead, the history and the tradition of the Oakland Raiders. When you think about people, whether people are with the Cougars here or whether there are people in, in, in the Bay Area that are 49er fans or people like the Raider fans, they're unique. And they have a characteristic that, that, that you can't replicate. And, and, and what I love about that is what I saw last night, you know, and what I mean by what I saw last night. When I was watching the game last night, it was more about not just watching the game, but it was watching Rick Barry. It was watching all the great memories. And I've been going to that stadium since 1984. So I was watching a lot of things last night other than just watching the game because there are so many great memories in that facility. And when they leave next year, yeah. there are going to be so many great memories that we all have had with John Madden and Al Davis and all the greats that have come along uh, to wear the silver and black. Yeah, that whole, uh, well, the baseball stadium, of course, will still be there, but, yeah. man, that Oracle, although they're building a nice place across the bay. Yes, they so, are. So, it, yeah. it, it is fabulous. It's beautiful. Yeah. It really is. Uh, let me ask you about a, a, a good friend of yours. You played with Tom Homo. Yeah. And uh, he's got four Super Bowls, three as a player, one as a coach. Yeah. Um, the job he's doing at BYU, I know he's had you up to visit. Yep. But he seems to enjoy that stage of his life. Well, the thing that I love about Tom is that nothing's never good enough. Uh, and, and why do I say that? Is that he would remind me there's something that you can do to, to be better. So imagine you're playing with a guy who is encouraging you to get better and to be around someone who doesn't have to have that kind of feeling but provided that feeling. And what I love about Tom is Tom has always tried to stretch himself. And that's what you do to be a great AD, a great husband, a great father, and he's done all of those things really well. Your alma mater will be in his stadium this fall. Are you going to be there? I will be there. <laughs> what what will colors be are you wearing? I will, uh, I will be there. Uh, you know, the great thing about that when you, at least for me, I love traveling to watch great games or great stadiums or great people. And uh, the time that I came up here, um, I saw something that I didn't know existed. I had heard about it. Steve Young had talked about it. Uh, I've seen a lot of great athletes come out of BYU. But what I do know is that, man, this is football. Yeah. This is and, 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 and when you go into the high school, you know, communities and you hear about, this is football. And so there's a lot of great things that you can smell. Yeah. And you can smell it yeah. <laughs> around here yeah. that people love the game of football. Well, we look forward to seeing you there. Your alma mater kind of had a bizarre off season though. What do you yeah, think? you know what's that interesting? That was weird. It, 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 it's been a weird off season. I think one of the great things in life is that um, you never know. You know, we all walk with the idea of trying to live our best, but you never know. And in Lynn's case, Swan, uh, there were things that he probably didn't know. And so I think when I look back at what happened this, this off season, um, I'm hoping that he corrects it. I'm hoping that he understands that um, there's a standard, and I'm hoping that he understands that you know what, maybe I, I can find a way to not only enhance this, but take it to another level. And, and, and knowing him, you know, he's got four Super Bowls. Yeah, so he's got I a few. Imagine. He knows how to win. Yeah, he knows how to win. So <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm counting on that. Well, there's a few Ute fans up the street that are probably hoping that they can finally get their win yeah, down there. <laughs> and, and, and you know this. I think one of the great things that I, I've watched the coach there, and I think the coach – has done a ph phenomenal job. Coach Whittingham, yeah. Coach yeah. Whittingham has done a tr tremendous job. He's got some great athletes, great people. And uh, more importantly, I think what I, what I love about him, 
he does it the right way. Yep. The kids really get after it. They know how to play. They give them all they can, and that's what that's what you want. That's what you want out of uh, out of your young men. You want them to give you all they can.